Hi, I'm Alexandra Gates, Director of Product Marketing here at Extreme Networks. In this Extreme Academy course, I'm gonna be talking about managing networks and devices. I'll cover multiple learning objectives, but the main takeaway here is to gain an understanding of network management. I'll be talking about key components like the difference between on-premises management and management in the cloud and some other device management options and protocols. Just a reminder, make sure you click subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new informative videos coming your way. By now, you probably know what Extreme Academy is and you've likely ventured through some key courses. So why managing networks and devices? The importance of this section is to learn again how to manage disparate networks, whether it be one single site or thousands of sites spread out over multiple locations. And network management has become even more important in recent years because networks are getting more complex, their scale is increasing, teams are often losing IT resources or budgets, and so you need a simpler and more streamlined way to manage the network regardless of the number of infrastructure devices or users connecting onto the network. Before we can dig into the meat of this course, it's important to know what network management actually is, as well as understanding a few key concepts and terms that are gonna make multiple appearances throughout the course. So first, what is network management? Network management covers the procedures, methods, and tools needed to effectively operate, administrate, provision, and maintain networks. This can look different depending on the organization, but it's just as important regardless of the vertical, the size of the network, or the type of business that's being transacted. As we move through this course, we'll be referencing other key components of network management, and it's important you can distinguish and differentiate the roles each play. So first, the control plane, it refers to the functions and processes that determine which path to use. So in simpler terms, the control plane makes decisions about where traffic is sent. Next is the data plane, and that refers to all the functions and processes that carry user traffic throughout the network. It's also sometimes referred to as the user plane, the forwarding plane, or carrier plane. The data plane enables data transfer to and from clients, handling multiple conversations through multiple protocols. And then lastly is the management plane. This is the element of a system that configures, monitors, and provides management, monitoring, and configuration services to all layers in the network stack and other parts of the system. It includes the user, operator, and tools managing network infrastructure. 